Browsing through the dashboard of the Yamaha Tenera 700 provides a straightforward overview of the motorcycle. There's no maze of submenus, power modes, or customizable rider settings to navigate. In 2024, this bike stands out for its simplicity, and Yamaha is proud of it. Yet, Yamaha is not oblivious to the influx of new models in the middleweight adventure bike scene, posing a challenge to the T7's position as the sales leader in the 651 to 900 cubic centimeters adventure category. To address this, Yamaha introduces a concise list of updates, featuring a 5-inch TFT display, LED turn signals, and refined ABS settings. In essence, Yamaha's approach is all about keeping things uncomplicated. As for the bike itself, known as a lightweight, go-anywhere adventure motorcycle, the Tenera 700 is propelled by the versatile 689 cubic centimeters parallel to an engine, initially seen in the 2014 FC. 07. This engine is now employed across the MT-07 or 7 and Tenera 700 platforms, each with model-specific tweaks. The 2021 Tenera 700 test bike generated 64 horsepower and 44 pound FT of torque on the Cycle World Dyno, and with no significant performance changes for 2024. Similar figures can be anticipated. For comparison, Aprilia's Touareg 660 recorded 70 horsepower and 44 pound FT of torque on the same dyno, while the larger displacement Suzuki Vstrom 800DE produced 72 horsepower and 50 pound. FT of torque. Honda's newly introduced Transalp closely matched with 71 horsepower and 47 pound. FT of torque. The bike features a steel frame with unique lower rails that can be removed in case of engine drops or off-road damage. The fully adjustable KYB suspension is finely tuned to balance control, acknowledging the dual nature of adventure bikes that spend a considerable amount of time both on and off the street, a harmonious middle ground. Yamaha emphasizes that the weight distribution and geometry of the T7 are designed to evoke the feel of a substantial enduro bike rather than a street bike that occasionally ventures off-road. This distinction is particularly evident in the smaller trail number, 4.1 inches, while many other measurements closely align with those of the Touareg 660, Vstrom 800D, and Transalp. Notably, the T7 boasts a longer wheelbase, 62.8 inches, and a taller seat height. 34.4 inches compared to its competitors. The 4.2-gallon fuel tank is relatively smaller, ranging from 0.3 to 1.1 gallons less than other bikes in its class. However, the Tenera 700 holds a slight weight advantage, with only the Touareg 660 approaching its sub for 60-pound figure. Equipped with a brake system featuring Brembo calipers gripping dual 282mm front discs and a single 245mm rear disc, the T7 comes with Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires mounted with tubes for easier trailside repairs. While ABS has always been present, it now offers three settings, ABS on, ABS off, and rear ABS off, with front ABS remaining active. The system, along with other crucial information, is managed through a vertical, rally-inspired TFT dash, a significant aesthetic improvement over the outgoing LCD display. The dash offers two readout types, Street and Explorer. Yamaha's Y-Connect app enables smartphone connectivity for notifications and checking fuel consumption history, though it lacks a map feature. In electronic updates, the wire harness is now easily compatible with Yamaha's accessory quick shifter, $199.99, conveniently pre-mounted on the T7 during our initial experience. Taking a seat on the Tenera 700 reveals a noticeable dip at the front of the stock, two-piece seat, designed to assist shorter riders in finding the ground on uneven terrain and closing the foot peg to seat gap for taller riders. Opting for Yamaha's optional one-piece rally seat, $219.99, installed on our bike, increases height by 1.6 inches for enhanced comfort, particularly for riders over 6 feet tall with longer legs. The flat structure and supportive foam provide added long-range comfort. Despite its comfort features, the T7 isn't to be mistaken for a long-range touring bike. The narrow, rally-inspired front fairing and relatively short, non-adjustable windscreen deliberately prioritize minimal interference during out-of-the-seat off-road riding. Consequently, this translates to reduced wind protection on the highway and some helmet buffeting, particularly noticeable for taller riders, such as the 6-foot, 3 rider, especially when wearing an adventure helmet. 
The Tenera 700 effortlessly navigates through back roads and city streets, showcasing its narrow and lightweight design. This proves advantageous when maneuvering through traffic or tackling winding stretches of asphalt. The CP2 engine's tractable nature shines in these scenarios, providing a torquey yet quick revving character that excels in street conditions, making stoplight getaways and corner exits a breeze. However, a drawback emerges in the form of a stiff clutch pull lacking engagement point feedback, highlighting Yamaha's commitment to simplicity in its design. The 5-inch TFT display adds a touch of modernity, offering a clear view of essential information. Despite the limited rider aid options, the display's straightforward interface ensures that users won't find themselves lost in submenus. One minor inconvenience is the reset of ABS settings upon turning off the bike, requiring users to reselect their preferred configuration each time they start the engine, despite the dash's easy navigation. On paved back roads and short urban rides, where larger adventure bikes might feel out of place, the T7 performs admirably. However, for extended highway journeys, Yamaha recommends the Super Tenera ES. Transitioning to off-road terrain, the Tenera 700, equipped with Scorpion Rally STR tires, exhibits a distinct capability. Unlike larger adventure bikes that demand a more measured approach, the T7 welcomes more aggressive inputs. Riders experience precise control, steering the bike with confidence within inches of their intended line. This proves beneficial in technical terrain, enabling riders to navigate obstacles like rocks and crevices effectively. Yamaha deliberately omitted traction control from the Tenera 700, citing its desire to avoid potential failures in remote locations and emphasizing the engine's smooth power delivery as a sufficient substitute. While the absence of traction control may raise eyebrows, the engine's tractability renders it more of a luxury than a necessity. The smooth power delivery ensures the tire grips the dirt securely, preventing unexpected slips without compromising control. There's a case to be made for cost and simplicity, yet Honda's more affordable Transalp $9,999 demonstrates that finding a balanced middle ground is achievable. Introducing an added safety feature would not only enhance the confidence of newer adventure riders, but also prove invaluable in challenging conditions. It's worth noting that while the expanded ABS settings provide improved customization, the system lacks refinement for aggressive off-road usage. Front ABS frequently engages early on dirt, leading to a stiff front brake lever and unsettling moments. Opting to turn off the system entirely yields better results. However, the inconvenience lies in having to reselect the preferred setting each time the bike is restarted. On the topic of turning off systems and engaging in aggressive off-road riding, our fortunate experience of riding alongside Damon Bradshaw and Ryan Viopoto showcased the Tenera 700's remarkable potential in the dirt. Despite its minimalist design, this bike stands out as one of the most off-road capable options in the middleweight adventure bike category. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.